I have an enjoyment for it because I've always been into fitness and using the gym since a young age. I bought my first pair of dumbbells when I was about 12 years of age, 19 years on, I'm still hitting the gym and I'm still learning, I'm still developing. Personally, I can claim myself as a natural athlete because I have never looked at drug substances and I always use supplements which are within the terms and conditions of most of the legal federations. So recently, we have lost two very popular faces in the world of bodybuilding. One, IFBB Pro, Dallas Carver, and the second, the famous Rich Pian. Dallas, in his mid-twenties, was a huge name on the scene of bodybuilding, and he has competed all over the world, and he has influenced many people's lives. Dallas had unfortunately passed away as a result of not being able to consume the food in his esophagus. Uh, I believe it was trapped and from reading a lot of resources and sources um, I believe that he died from asphyxiation which is choking rather than the use of drug substances. Rich Piano was put into a coma a few weeks ago and he's recently um, died. I met Rich earlier this year at Body Power Expo and I had a stand next to his. And this is a guy who I've followed for a long time online, only because of his transparency in bodybuilding and in the sport. He is very open, if you look at his videos on YouTube, very open about the sport, the extremities that a lot of bodybuilders go through and also identifies with what he's personally done as well, the extremities that he's personally done. And let's be honest, at 46 years of age, as a bodybuilder, Rich Piana admitted to doing pretty much everything there was. Steroid use, the likes of Simfol, and he was quite an open book. Unfortunately, he is slated in the industry uh, as a result of being so extreme. Uh, perhaps he's hated upon for being so brutally honest and yet so loved by the masses for his honesty. But there's one thing you can't take away from uh, Rich Piano is the fact that he was so brutally honest and wanted to influence others and just shared that the bodybuilding game isn't for everyone. And it shouldn't be. It's like with any sport. There should only be times for those who want to progress at a sport and for those who want to also put their all in. Bodybuilding isn't a half measured part-time recreational hobby, it's pretty much a full-time job. Um, a few years ago, um, I started to look into it more myself and I decided to stick at the aesthetic side of things, a tall male physique, only because of my genetics, but also because of my uh, viewpoint on doing drugs, uh, putting it bluntly. In the, because I've got my own sports nutrition shop as well and I'm quite heavily involved in the fitness and gym world, I've been pushed to sell drugs multiple times by multiple people. I've also, which I've declined, um, I've also been uh, asked if I would like to buy different types of drug substances, steroids, anabar, testosterone uh, increases. Uh, things that you would typically give to cattle and I've always had a body dysmorphic issue since a young age and naturally I've always wanted to improve my exterior. However at 31 the older I become the more I want to focus on my interior. My mindset is more important to me, my health is also more important to me and also living a longer life is also important to me. Unfortunately, over the next decade, I guarantee we're gonna see more young deaths with uh, excessive drug substance use. The problem is, and if you look at some of Rich Piana's videos and some of the other pros out there, they're very open to the fact that they have blood testing. They also buy drugs from restful sources and work with top scientists directly. Unfortunately today, 
A, a lot of young people are buying drug substances from a dodgy source who is also buying it from a dodgy source and the young individual has not got the basics right in nutrition, training and other elements as well. So rather than pushing yourself on all the different elements that you should do, such as sleep, lifestyle, nutrition, the exercise, muscle maturity, going through a growth phase and a cut phase and so on and so on, a lot of people just jump on the bandwagon of the quick fix that is drugs. What people don't realise is the damaging effects, both short term and long term, for the internal organs can be horrific if you do not know what you're doing. So there might be a lot of experienced bodybuilders watching this video and think this guy, because he doesn't use them, doesn't know what he's talking about. The reality is, I have spoken openly with about six Mr. Olympias and I have spoken to multiple top pro bodybuilders and there is a common thing. If they're at the top of their game, they get blood tested, they also go through rigorous checks and they have the best nutritionists and scientists at the sides. A naive young 16 to 25 year old male who is new to the gym does not have the ounce of basic knowledge, let alone knowledge in drugs. And unfortunately this is going to become a, a bigger issue as the years progress. So ironically, um, Callis didn't pass away as a result of his drug use. Um, the speculation over Rich Piana's death also not being directly as a result of his performance enhancing drugs. Over the last two decades, I have also witnessed a few uh, aesthetic and bodybuilder stars to pass away and be martyred, to be overfashioned and glorified for their extreme uh, lifestyles. But unfortunately, a lot of them have passed away as a result of other substance uses, one being cocaine. And it's one substance which is quite commonly used in um, the world of fitness by extreme fitness enthusiasts who need a further kick, the adrenaline. Uh, unfortunately, I've uh, met a few uh, cocaine users. Um, I've had ex and a few ex-partners as much as um, ex-friends who have also dabbled in such drug substance. The concoction of using such potent performance enhancing drugs combined with cocaine, combined with drinking, combined with the extremities of the bodybuilding lifestyle, there's such pressure on the, the heart and vital organs. It's in many cases, you're a ticking time bomb. So I'm not going to speculate. I'm personally a big fan of Rich Piana, and I hope that anyone who watches this video um, gives him praise and respects his family as much as um, what he's done for the world of bodybuilding. He was one of the most open, honest individuals and uh, spoke his mind. Okay, a lot, a lot of people, again, didn't agree with his personality and the way he presented himself but as a businessman he did relatively well as a sports enthusiast for bodybuilding he represented the sport relatively well and he was a kind-hearted individual and he reached out to a lot of fans and, and did a good job so you can't but take your hat off to him and say uh, thanks Rich and thank you for all the good that you've done but there's some good points in this video that I've wanted to highlight, especially to younger lads out there, and that is don't get all wrapped up in the hype. Unfortunately, we live in a world that everyone wants to look perfect, everyone wants to look perfect now. Uh, no one wants to learn about long-term gratification. And every, many people I see want instant results, instant gratification. And that's where people get depressed, frustrated, suffer with mental health issues and start building insecurities as much as uh, looking at other quick fixes such as drugs. If you like my videos feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel 
I will be touching on different subjects quite often and blogging and vlogging is something that I'm starting to do more of now so feel free to check me out at gavintownsend.com and again subscribe to my YouTube channel and all my different various social media channels. Have a great day.